postman Pat, postman Pat, postman Pat, and his black and white cat. Early in the morning, just as day is dawning, he picks up all the post bags in his van. Postman Pat, postman Pat, postman Pat, and his black and white cat. All the birds are singing, and the day is just beginning. Pat feels he's a really happy man. Everybody knows his bright red van. All his friends will smile as he waves to greet them. Maybe you can never be sure they'll be knocking letters through your door. <laughs> postman Pat, postman Pat, postman Pat, and his black and white cat. Singing, the day is just beginning. Pat feels he's a really happy man. Pat feels he's a really happy man. Pat feels he's a really happy man. Hey, look at the time. Isn't Julian going to be late for school? No, don't worry, Pat. Jeff Pringle's giving them a half day. Oh? Why is that, then? Ted Glenn is re-varnishing the classroom floor this morning. Oh, right. Oh, Jess! <sighs> Look what Jess has done to my computer mouse. It's ruined! Oh, dear. You're not supposed to chase that sort of mouse, Jess. I'm sure Ted Glenn could fix it. Yes, but not in time to learn stuff for my class talk today. Class talk? Yes. I have to stand up in front of the whole class and talk about people's jobs. Oh, I see. Well, I could tell you about being a postman. I need to know about lots of jobs. I've got it. Why don't you come with me on my rounds this morning? I deliver to lots of different people. You can learn all about their jobs. Oh, yeah, thanks, Dad. That'll be brilliant. Oh, and Pat, don't forget Julian has to be at school this afternoon. I won't. Let's go, Dad. Come on, Jess. Left a bit. Bit, bit to the left, Jeff. Steady as she goes. And down. Ouch! Ouch! Ooh! Ouch! Ah. Practicing your hopscotch, Jeff. Ooh. Not exactly, Pat. We're clearing the classroom ready for Ted to varnish the floor. Aye. <laughs> well, good luck. Don't forget your class talk at 12 o'clock, Julian. I won't, Mr Pringle. Cheerio. Right, then. Let's get cracking with the varnish. Are you sure you'll get it done in time, Ted? <laughs> Have no fear, Ted Glenn is here. Good luck with your talk, Julian. Thanks, Mrs Goggins. Right, Julian. First delivery is for Reverend Timms. You can ask him about his job. Great! In you get, Jess. <laughs> you and may you grow in peace. Morning, Reverend Timms. Oh, good morning, Pat. Good morning, Julian. <laughs> and you, Jess. Letter for you, Reverend. Oh, thank you. Doing a spot of gardening, I see. Oh, yes. All part of my duties. Really? And what else? What else? What else do you have to do for your job? Oh, I see. Uh, let me think. Well, um... Well, next this morning, I have to test the church bells to make sure they're tip-top for Sunday. Wow! Yeah. Ringing the bell sounds good. This rope leads up to the bells, and I give it a good 
tug to ring them, like this. Brilliant! Would you like to try? Yes, please. Give it a big tug, Julian. Whoa! Thanks, Reverend Timms. Oh, it was nothing. It's all in a day's work for me. <laughs> I think we'd better get a move on, Julian. I've got lots more letters to deliver. And I've got lots more jobs to find out about. Cheerio. Come back any time. How's it going, Ted? Champion. Is that all you've done so far? It's hard work, is this? I'm sure it is. But can't it be a bit quicker? Well... The children are coming at 12. You'll never finish in time at this rate, Ted. Hmm. Uh, let's see now. I know. Have you got an old broom, Jeff? Uh, yes. There's one here. But why? And I'll need some string and a couple more brushes. Won't be a tick. Wait, just look at the time. Nearly 11 o'clock already. Who are we delivering to next, Dad? Ajay at the train station. Oh, great! Maybe I can learn about being a train driver. <laughs> Maybe. Hold it! What's the trouble? Oh, hello, Pat. Road's flooded up ahead. So I'm afraid I'm going to have to ask you to make a detour. Oh, dear. We're in a hurry. Sorry. Only doing my job. Job? Brilliant. It's no use blaming me. I'm... Uh... Did you say brilliant? Yes. Tell me all about your job, please, PC Selby. I want to know what a policeman does. Eh? It's important. Is it? I mean, uh, yes, it is. Yes, it's very important work. I'm glad someone appreciates the fact. Well? So, what do you do? Well, um, I have to look for lost cats. Well? And I, uh, I have to direct the traffic, like this. I can do that. <laughs> and what's this arrow thing for? Here, careful with that. That's police property, that is. When I have to divert the traffic, the arrow points it in the right direction. Now, which direction was it? Uh, oh, yes. No, that doesn't look right. Must be this way. Or was it this way? Let me think now. Come on, Julian, we'd better be off. I'm not sure whether it's... Uh, let me see now. It can't be that way, so is it this way or, or is it... Uh... Champion. Terrific, Ted. That should be much quicker. Uh, I'll have this floor finished in no time now. I'm ready for when the children arrive at 12 o'clock. Right, let's get stuck in. Grand. Oh, heck. I've gone and varnished myself into the corner. I can't walk on it. It's still wet. 
Ah, oh, wait a tick. <laughs> Clever thinking, Ted. Now I can finish this last corner. I'll just have a lie down while I wait for it to dry. <sighs> Here we are, Julian. The train station. Let's find Ajay. Come see the train. <coughs> Hi, Julian. Hi, Mira. <coughs> Is your dad around? He's over there. Come on, I'll take you. <coughs> Morning, Pat. Hello, Nisha. Here's your post. Oh, thanks. I'll look at it when I've opened the cafe. <coughs> Mickey likes you, Jess. So, you want to learn about being a train diver, do you? Yes, for my class talk. Show Julian inside the train, Dad. All right. Hop up, lad. Really? Wow! Right, Julian. First, we have to stoke up the engine. And when she's built up a good head of steam, you toot the whistle here. Right, try it. <laughs> All aboard! That's grand, Pat. Now, Julian, help me pull this lever here. Can I? Oh, thanks. You'll have plenty to tell the class at school. Yeah. Talking of which, I think it's time you were going. OK, Dad. <laughs> Thanks, Ajay. See you at school, Mira. Bye. Good luck. See you later. Phew. Just finished in time. Look at this floor. Oh, that's really good. Yeah. Yeah. Sit down, everybody. <laughs> well, as you can see, we have a lovely new shiny classroom floor, thanks to Ted. <gasps> wow! It's so nice, isn't it? Now it's Julian's turn to give a class talk. Come to the front, Julian. <clears throat> Julian is going to tell us all he's learned about the different jobs that people do. Wow. <laughs> <clears throat> Well, today I found out that there are lots of different jobs that need doing in Greendale. Some people make the gardens look nice and make sure the big bells ring at the right time. Some people make sure we go in the right direction and don't get into trouble. Some people help us to travel to other places like Pencaster. And some people, like my dad, make sure everyone gets their letters delivered and get to school on time. And that's what I learnt about jobs. Hooray! Hooray! Well, done. well done, Julian. You made a very good job of jobs. <laughs> <laughs> so I think that deserves a special gold star. Well done, Julian. <laughs> Looks like Ted's been working hard at his job, too. <laughs> oh, my egg. <laughs> Is there a letter? Meow. Is there a puzzle?